This video will be a quick introduction to the period control block for Looker. The period control block was designed to create an easy period over period analysis while also controlling non period over period blocks on the same dashboard. The periods are controlled by a series of filters. There are a number of options and blocks built in that make it easy to display what dates are selected. The period selection filter selects the primary period, so trailing week to date, month, quarter, year, or last full week, month, quarter, year. Number of trailing days is used with the trailing selection, and then compare to selects what to compare the period to. So for trailing, you can compare to prior period or any of these. However, if you select a number of days smaller than uh, one of these compare to's, it will throw an error. Exclude days allows you to either exclude the current day, yesterday, end of last full month, week, quarter, or figure out what the last data date is in your database. This runs a select max on your database. As of date allows you to time travel. You can set this date here and that will become the end date of your period. So looking at how some of these options work, we'll go through here and choose let's say month to date and I can't combine month to date with a trailing so I'll have to choose either prior month, quarter, or year. If you choose a selection like this, and I'll just show what this looks like really quick, and as you can see, it will display an error. So here, I've chosen month to date, so it's selected February 1st to the 22nd, and if I look down here, I can see that it is comparing January 1st to January 22nd. I could likewise change my compare to to prior year, and I'll get a comparison to the same period in 2022. With exclude days, this is useful if your data pulls nightly or maybe is two days old, or if it pulls intermittently, last data can be used and it will just automatically set the end of your date range. It prevents having null values show in your dashboard because you haven't got data that's caught up with the display. So for instance, if I choose uh, end of last full week here, um, and let's just choose something a little more appropriate. And I'll keep this at prior year. So you can do trailing versus prior year. And here it's selected the end of the last full week. I'm going to choose an as of date here. Picking an as of date overrides any filter in the exclude days. Whoops. So I'll click here and I'll say it's on the day. This is useful. Let's say I want to see what life was like back in November. Let's say the end of November and I could choose month to date compared to the prior year. So I want to see what November 2022 looked like versus 2021. And there I can see I've got November compared to November. So looking at a few other features, this block here is built in and is available as a measure to display the dates and it acts as the warning. Some other interesting things you can do with the period over period block is a chart like this. And what I'm gonna do is just explore this chart really quick to take a quick look at it. In this chart, I've selected seven periods. That's all for this video. I'll be releasing a series of tutorial videos that cover how to install and set up the period control block in depth. And I'll leave those in the comments once they're ready.